How the hell did they hear that? Get out of my face. Need some freaking breath mints, man. Jeez, it's bad breath. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days and I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Insane Series, where we play this game on insane difficulty. As long as you're all set to nightmare speed, and we have a hell of a fun time doing it. So, if you find yourself enjoying this video, please take a moment and hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and if you have, thank you very much. Uh, leave a comment and share out the video. Uh, it does help the channel, and I do appreciate it. Also, uh, this is going to be um, a little over a week late by the time you guys see this video, but for me... It is Thanksgiving Day, so I would like to wish all of you who celebrate it a very happy, belated Thanksgiving Day. I hope you enjoy lots of turkey um, and some quality time with friends and family. Uh, in my particular case, we are um, actually going to meet with our, our kids and um, other relatives over Zoom um, because we are not uh, going anywhere in person due to the current situation in the world with COVID, which really sucks, but it is what it is. And I'm actually thankful that we do have Zoom available because it does give us a way, you know, that we can still hang out with them, um, even though we can't be there in person. First time in my 53 years of life that I haven't been with other friends and family for Thanksgiving. So it's kind of weird, except for my wife, of course. Um, she and I will be together, but uh, anyway, so yeah, I know I know you guys will be getting this late, but I'm I'm a little over a week ahead of you guys right now uh, with the videos, so it is what it is. And uh, again, happy Thanksgiving to all of you who celebrate it, even though it's a little over a week past uh, by the time you see this. <laughs> okay, anyway, let's uh, see what do we we got. Lots of stuff to do as usual. If you did not catch the last casual construction episode, uh, we spent that entire episode painting and decorating the house. So this is what it now looks like. I, I, I'm really digging this. I think it looks really good. So this is the bottom floor here, um, and the you know the different paints and textures and so forth that we used um, out here. Uh, we changed the deck uh, all to this kind of oak-looking structure. I ended up painting all of the bars black. Actually, that's the the um, LCD TV. <laughs> <laughs> uh, texture, but it was, it was the closest thing to black that I could come with, uh, or that I could come up with. Uh, so we did that. Uh, the roof is all painted. Uh, the deck's all painted. Looks really good. Um, and then I also did some work on the garden. I continued to do some work on the garden even after I uh, finished that episode because it was running kind of long. Uh, so everything on the garden is now updated uh, with these te textures, like on the, you know, the stepping stones and the the sidewalk, and the entire. Uh, wall all the way around the house now is brick texture, but I left the bottom uh, I left the bottom row just concrete to you know to kind of look like a foundation and it's looking really good I, I think it looks great uh, very pleased with the, how everything has turned out here We still have a little bit more work to do on the house though, which we'll tackle probably uh, in probably not in the next casual construction episode, but the one after that uh, in the next casual construction episode we have to uh, we have to do a little bit more work on the horde base. This is what it looks like uh, upstairs, too. So anyway, what I have left here is I'm going to put some glass in. I um, haven't really figured out exactly how I'm going to do that, because the problem with the glass in 7 Days to Die is it's 100% transparent. I mean, the stuff that you can actually see through. We really only have two options. We have the 100% transparent normal glass, or we have bulletproof gra glass, which looks like shit, uh, because, you know, it's got the... It's got the wire mesh inside, but it's also got this kind of smeared look to it, too, and it just does not look good. Um, I also considered <clears throat> and still might use stained glass. The stained glass would look cool, except for that you can't see through the stained glass, so we would be missing this awesome view, at least whilst we're inside of the house. So we'd have to just go out on the deck to enjoy the view, which we can do. So I don't know. I haven't decided yet exactly what I'm going to do for that, but I'm still kind of pondering it. Uh, and then we also need to get, you know, some furniture up here. Uh, so we'll be doing that. Some of that I might have to just spawn in from the creative menu if I can't make it. And we'll just, you know, uh, guesstimate what the resources would be. And then I need to put some uh, lighting in the place. And once that's done, I think we're pretty much finished with our pretty cool uh, little house here. Really, really in, uh, enjoying it and, and uh, pleased with how it's uh, turned out. Okay, anyway, um, so for this episode, we need to... Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and see. It is day 75, but it's in the morning, so that's two full days. Um, you know, I really I really think maybe what we ought to do or what I ought to do is 
get the horde base ready first because the next um, tier five that we're going to do is the hospital and that's going to be a good solid end game day and a half maybe even two days to completely get through because it's a tier five um, and i don't want to start that and then have to quit you know halfway into it to go get the horde base ready because then we'll of course fail the quest so um now you know now, <laughs> now that i think about it i probably should have started this as a casual construction episode but here's what we'll do um i'm going to uh, here's what we're going to do i'm going to tell you what we're going to do i'll kind of show you uh you know different parts of it but i'm not going to show you the whole thing so that we can hopefully at least get started on the hospital before the end of this episode so what i'm going to do is i'm going to set up a couple more turrets at the top of the horde base um, and right now I can only make the SMG turrets, but for what I'm planning, those are really the ones we probably want anyhow. Um, and then I'm going to put each one of them, so we're going to have a total of four turrets this time instead of two like we had last time. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put each one of those turrets on timer, timer relays, which I can actually make. I found the uh, schematic for that. And so what we'll do is we'll set the first uh, SMG to, to fire... Um, when the Horde Knight starts, the second one will start up about, you know, a quarter of the way through it, the third one, the halfway through it, the fourth one, three quarters of the way through it, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so that way the turrets can still work to try and, you know, keep the zombies clear of the mouth of the funnel, but we're not blowing all of our ammo all at once. And then, you know, not having anything towards the end of Horde Knight. So that's my idea uh, for trying to improve the situation just a little bit more. Okay. So that being said, I'm going to make two SMG turrets, okay? Uh, I'm going to make four uh, timer relays. See, I can, ma I can make those electric timer relays. And then I'm going to go, you know, dig dig out the, the holes and, and redo the wiring and get the, all those set up. And then I'll show you uh, all of that, um, you know, right when it's done. I might give you a couple of updates while we're doing it. But I'm not going to show most of that on camera so that we can spend the majority of the time for this episode um, doing the hospital. Okay, so uh, I'll bring you guys back with an update on where we're at uh, in just a little while. All right, guys, uh, I'm back and uh, we're just about finished with this uh, little upgrade to the horde base. So basically, this relay that you see here is the power that's coming up from down below. And so I've wired that to this middle relay and then up to this first turret. This turret's not going to be on a timer. It's going to start when horde night starts and it's going to go until it runs out of ammunition. Then the wire wiring keeps on going to this relay and then crosses over to this turret, which is on a timer relay. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to have this start at, um, probably we should have it start at 1130. I'm going to try and stagger these about an hour and a half apart. So what we want to do then is we want here, actually it's probably quicker to go in reverse. So that's midnight, that would be 11.30. So this starts at 11.30, and then end time doesn't really matter. It's just going to go until it runs completely out. Um, what we could do for that, though, is you can't, unfortunately, you can't type in there. Uh, we could, we could just in case it still does have a little bit of ammo in it, we could have it end, um, let's say it's 6 o'clock in the morning. I mean, if we, would, we won't have any more horde by that time anyway. Uh, okay. So that one starts at 11.30. Then we have more wiring that goes along this way into that relay. And then that relay crosses over to this next timed relay. And so we'll click on this one. So we started that other one at 11.30. And um, so now we want to start the next one at 1 a.m. Okay. And then, again, this could just end at 6 o'clock in the morning. All right, and then again, this uh, wire goes over to this relay here, and then that relay goes to this final timed relay. And this one, we want to start at 2.30 in the morning. Okay, and then that gives us, uh, so that pretty much staggers everything an hour and a half apart. And the idea being that you know, instead of having all four of them just blamming away right from the get-go, um, you know, they go in cycles to try and hopefully, um, you know, stretch the ammo out uh, for 
the whole night if possible. I don't know if, if it'll last the whole night, but as close as possible. Now, the job of these turrets, of course, is to um, is to keep try and keep the, the mouth of the funnel clear, because what the Zeds will do is they'll come down, but then they'll kind of walk around the very edge of the mouth there. And so what the turrets will do is um, if they knock them down, then they will ragdoll. In some cases, the turrets are going to kill them, and there's nothing I can do about that, and we lose the XP. But, you know, I would say... I mean, I don't really know for sure, but I'm guessing at least half of them will not be killed. They'll ragdoll, and then they'll fall down to the pit where we can kill them and get the XP from them. Um, and so we'll see how this goes, and you know, and then we'll assess the situation at the end of the Horde Night, uh, Horde Night 77, and see how well it did. So what we need to do now is we just got to get everything uh, buttoned up here. So I'm going to need, see, I've got four bars. Actually, yeah, I think that's all I need is just four bars. Um, so, yeah, I'll get all this stuff upgraded and, and get the holes filled back in. Um, I have ammo cooking up back at the base, and so we'll get the guns loaded up as much as we can. And then once I'm finished with all of that, I will meet you guys over at the quest location, which is all the way over in the burn biome. So let's see, this one, we want to make the active quest. And it's way the hell over to the west here uh, in our burn biome. This is um, this is where Trader Wrecked is. And uh, this is down south in this next town. So I'll meet you guys over there. And then uh, we'll start the hospital quest. And hopefully we can get through it. Uh, we're going to have to move pretty quickly because we're going to have to get through it and still get back here in time for Horde Night. But we've got, well, we've got two and a half days, actually. A little less than two and a half days. So we should be able to, to knock that out. All right, guys, I'll see you at the hospital. Bye. All right, guys, we are at the hospital. Uh, we're going to do a quick double loot. Uh, the loot is just right up there uh, in that corner there. We have to be kind of careful because I'd rather not aggro the zombos that are up there. They're uh, a pretty nasty group. So we just have to be really quiet. Uh, but we will double loot the place and then we'll start the quest for real. This is a clear and a retrieve. All right, let's get this ready because I think there might be a Zeke right here. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. I think maybe sometimes there is, but I could be wrong about that. So what we're going to do is we're going to climb up here and go straight up the side of this wall. Let's also... Uh, let's turn our light off and switch to these for when we get up there, because that greatly reduces our stealth meter. Okay, so I think we want to go to here. All the zombos are right up on that roof there, so we want to be really quiet. Coming in through this way. Okay. Um, alright, so let's see here. Is this... Oh, shit, that thing's locked. Yeah, we got lockpicks. I do have one thing of safe crackers, which we'll probably uh, take with us. Um, you know, well, I'll take the fort, fort bites. Don't really need that other stuff. Well, you know what? If we're going to take that bandage, we might as well take this one. Because we can use those for making the large medikits. Not that they're, you know, difficult to make. Uh, let's just drink that. Okay, hopefully this doesn't wake anybody up. Oh, that's wood. Ammo up there. Uh, all right, let's break these crates. We'll eat that, and I'm going to leave the gunpowder. We've got tens of thousands of gunpowder back at the base. Does make sense to take up inventory space for that. And let's check their weapons bag. 
Uh, all right, decent stuff. Decent stuff for selling. And then the big chest. Nice, we got that sucker on the first try. Ooh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. A purple friggin' rocket launcher. That's fan friggin' tastic. Um, all right, let's eat those and eat those. And we want, we don't care about that stuff. We want the rest of that though. So now we have to do some inventory management. Got to make three spaces. We're going to get rid of these. They're not that important. Uh, what else could we possibly get rid of so we don't have to come back up here? These. We can get rid of those. We'll take that. And then one more thing. Is this loaded? It is not. Now it is. Oh, it only holds one though, doesn't it? Uh, okay, so let's do this then. Let's load up the the frag. And that frees us up one more spot to grab that, which we will sell. Okay, that's pretty decent loot overall. Okay, time to go. Ah! Oh, we <laughs> just about <laughs> pulled that last block out. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. Here we go. Fetch and clear. Hopefully we don't screw this one up like we did the the shotgun messiah factory. There's a chicken over there. Um, I could harvest these, but we don't really need plastic or spoiled meat right now. We're in pretty good shape, so let's just move along and try and get through this quickly without being reckless. I'm going to let that chicken go because I don't want to take up space for all his resources as good as they are. All right, is this brass? It is not, it's iron. Okay, so we're not gonna loot everything under the sun, but we will loot, you know, the better the better stuff. Sinks often give acid and you just want me to kill you, don't you? Uh, acid and ammunition, so they're always worth, you know, looting. Let's just go put this stuff out here. I don't have my, um, I don't have any 9mm weapons with me because I'm trying to use all my 9mm ammo for the, for the turrets on the horde base. She just barely missed that. Got her. Okay, let's continue on here. That's all bow. Okay, this is brass. We want to take that and we'll check these. Aloe cream and gunpowder and vitamins. That's a pretty decent amount of gunpowder, so we'll probably try and hang on to that. Um, this is probably going to make some noise. Oh, shit. I thought I was hitting the lamp. We don't quite have enough oomph to one-shot those. Um, and that's because, you know, I don't have any points in, in 69er, or, I, or maybe I just have one point. I don't even know. Yeah, I guess we have one point in 69er. All right, anything else over here we can loot? Okay. Let's, uh, let's just run back out here again, since the Jeep is right here. And drop those things off. And then, of course, you know, we're going to have to make a couple of trips back to the, the Jeep, or I guess the 4x4, uh, as we go along here. Okay, let's get ready. I've got... Oh, yeah, right there. I was going to say, i got a red dot. Yeah, he's right in front of you. And then there's a red dot over here. Must be on the other side of that wall. Okay, it's going to be inside here. What in the hell? 
How did that even make noise? That's just an outside zombo that hurt us. Or maybe there's two. Take him off at the leg there. Come on, get some stamina back, old guy. Jeez Louise. We have no um, sexy tees, the problem. Okay, took his leg off too. Are they both dead? I think so. Yeah, what happened, at least at least for the nurse there, is that we hit the... I think we hit the door, and that's what woke her up. Make sure nobody's hiding behind there. We'll check toilets for, for toilet pistols. There's going to be a lot of rooms like this one um, throughout this hospital. There's our crossbow bolt. Okay, this is an active vending machine, so we will take all of this. Good, we got another atom junkie, so I'm kind of low on those for um, for Horde Knight, so I'm glad we found another one of those. Okay, let's go downstairs. This is a fun POI to do. I like this. Oh, shit. I like this one. Lots of red dots. Okay, so... Let's go cool and quiet. Cool and quiet. I think most the of these zombos are going to be up in the ceiling. So we need to get lined up for some headshots is what we need to do here. Couple guys up that way, and a guy up in that corner. Here's another one. We're also, you know, uh, doing this at night, so we have the extra Night Stalker bonuses. Always useful. Hmm, okay, I'm not seeing those guys from over here. Okay, there's there's a head. So there's two more that we can't see from here, and I think there's a guy up. Wasn't there a guy up here too? Oh, maybe not, maybe not. Let's go all the way back in this corner. Wow, okay. Let's try from over here. There we go. A nurse Nancy and that's just one of my crossbow bolts. So we do have one more Zeke, but not sure how to get to it. We could try a nerd pull up there without making a bunch of noise. If we're going to do that, let's do that over here in this corner. Uh. Oh, that's almost going to be in the closet down there. I got gotcha. you. Okay. He's, or it is right there. There we go, down with the sickness. Get our crossbow bolt there, we'll check this bag. Oh, that's probably worth fixing and selling, I would say. Okay, cool. Uh, let's continue moving on until we get a full bag and then we'll come back and uh, offload.
So we got four Zikaroos in there. Another vending machine. Fan frickin' tastic. We will, of course, as usual, buy all the food. And the eye candy. You know what? We let's actually start using these too. So when we come across a a really nasty, like you know, an irradiated biker sleeper, we'll we'll down one of those. Okay, so we could have more Zikaroos up in the ceiling. But I'm not seeing any up there. So they're probably gonna be in these rooms here. Okay, let's see y'all. Got a Nurse Nancy there. Nurse Nancy there. Skater Punk. And one more, which is probably up in the ceiling. There we go. This is a hospital. Why are the nurses all up in the ceiling? That doesn't make sense. What the hell, man? <laughs> uh, all right. Let's see. Is this brass? It does not appear to be so. Let's loot these things. We're out of space already. Check filing cabinets because you can find books and magazines and brass in such places. All right, that's a nice find. Um, honestly, we don't need those. Don't need the pipes either. None of that stuff is critical. Certainly not enough for us to to take up space. I don't know if these drawers have anything good in them or not. Well, there's brass. Sure make a hell of a lot of noise. Um, let's get rid of the cloth. And actually, let's get rid of the dirty water, too. That is not worth carrying around with us. Not going to take any of that. We got stacks of glue back at the base now. Uh, well, we already... I think we grabbed some gunpowder earlier, so we'll grab that and just put it in the 4x. Not worth a shit, unfortunately, even though it is a purple weapon. All right, I think that's it for in here for Lutskis. Let's, um, uh, where are we supposed to go? I think we're supposed to get, yeah, we're supposed to go up there, across there, and then through there. But before we do that, let's go ahead and once again offload, since we're still not that far away from the, from the four by. Alright, let's proceed here. So we got a Zeke right there. Don't see any more red dots at the moment. We need to jump down this way. Check the sink here. I don't think I'm going to check the washing machines. That's just going to have clothes in it that we don't really need. That we want. For um, spaghetti. I believe that's what you need for spaghetti, amongst other things. Take that, too. All right. So I think we're going to get some Zeke's in here. Yeah, look at all the red dots that just showed up.
Okay, that should take care of all of them. Don't think there's anything over here. There is a cardboard box. Let's just see what's in there. All right, we'll take that. Lab equipment. Oh, that's pretty decent stuff. We will take that. Check the sink. Nope, don't care about any of that stuff. Yeah, we'll take those. We'll probably end up drinking them, though. So this room, uh, we're going to have... Definitely have a bunch of Zeeks in. But we'll be able to take some of them out. Uh, via crossbow. This is a big ambush point. A little bit of luck, and we'll be able to dispatch all of them quietly. All right, so we got one, two, three more. Oh, there's one right there. And there's one right here. Okay, we'll grab those. All right, I think that takes care of everybody. Uh, this just goes back into that room that we jumped down through the ceiling that has all the washing machines in it. Let's check all of these sinks here. All a bunch of worthless shit. See if we know that one. Kill some chickens with a nail gun. Okay. Okay, let's ditch a bunch of crap that we don't need. So we don't care about that. We don't care about that. Or that, or that, or that. Um, You know, I'm going to get rid of those two. And we're going to get rid of the paper just because we have so much of both of those things back at the base. Doesn't make sense for us to take space. Take up space in our inventory. Uh, we will take that. And that, since we already have some. Okay, I think that's all we need to do in here. I don't think there's anything up above. In the way of, you know, something to loot. Nope. Nope. Okay, let's continue moving. We're moving through here, you know, fairly quickly, which is what we need to be doing. Got a little medical pile here. Okay, we'll take that stuff. I think this goes into the elevator shaft. So we don't need to do anything with that. Uh, no red dots, so we should be clear. Let's move on up to the next level.
Okay, so we have two red dots over there. I see a hand right there. Okay. Ah, crap. We lost our our night stalker. That's all right. We'll we'll be fine. We're still pretty badass. This one might be a little tricky because it's just right around the frickin' corner here. We got it. We got this. Okay. We don't need to check in there because we already did on the other side. There's a Zombo in that area. And one right there. I kind of think the red dots are a little cheaty, actually. I wonder if there's a way you can turn those off. Right over his head. What the hell? All right, a little lower, I guess. Oh, are we hitting... Oh, we're hitting, the, I guess, the couch? That was weird. Yeah, we must have been hitting the, the very edge of the hitbox on this on this little couch here. Uh, all right, let's see here. Let's go ahead and I want to look something back here really quick. Okay. Check behind these pictures. Nothing up in the ceiling. More vending machines. Excellent. Adam Junkies, pears. Yep, we'll take all of that. Um, I mean, we don't need coffee. We really don't. The only reason I have that is because it was free, right? We can make coffee back to the basin. We already have several stacks of it anyway. All right, we got Zeke's in here. Uh, I think what we have to do is go outside, and there's going to be two on each side of this door, so it's definitely an ambush point. Let's turn these off. Okay, we just got to go really quiet here. I think we're going to ha have buzzers out here too, if I remember right, from the last time we did this. Oh, it was just her. Okay. Okay, I'm just kind of looking out for buzzards. One right there. Oh. No, I guess that's just the shadow of a of a branch or something. Is that a sleepy? Yeah. Couldn't tell if at at first if that was a sleepy or a corpse. Alright. Anything in here? There's two zombos over here, I don't know if they're inside or up above. They're probably down here. Indeed they are. All right, let's move through here for a second. Lots of vending machines in this place, man. That is a good thing. Leave all the rest of that there because we can make it ourselves and have plenty back at the base. Okay, nothing else that way. Let's check the pictures because you never know what's behind them. Okay, no zombos that way. 
There are some buzzards. I knew there was buzzards out in this court, or one of these courtyards. Just couldn't remember exactly where, which ones and where. Nice, we got a bag out of that too. Okay, we still have one more red dot. Over that direction. Hmm. Is that Zombo inside of here? No, I don't see it in here. Okay. It still could be a buzzard. But we're, you know, we're going to eventually be up, go up there anyway, so if uh, that's the case, we'll just have to kill the buzzard when we get up there. Let's go check this bag, and then we're going to do another drop-off since we're really close to the 4 by here. All right. We'll take, um, I guess we'll take all of that stuff, and might as well drink one of these. We are just a, a tiny bit thirsty here. I'm not going to harvest the buzzards. We don't need their stuff. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do here is... I could break through the door, I guess. Probably be a little bit easier than... Zomboid over here. Come on, Bubba. Okay, he's dead. Do a quick drop off here. Okay, let's proceed here. Oh, that zombo that we were looking at is right around the corner here. Oh, I gotcha. Just breaking that up from the other side so I know that I've already checked it. And we come across to safe. Okay. See what we got. A blue knife. All right. Sellable. Okay, we got red dots. Is 
red dot over this way. Nurse Nancy. Okay, so we got to go up there, but before we do that, let's go around the corner here really quick. Take a look-see. Okay, no, I'm going to say there's no Zeeks in here because I'm not seeing any red dots. Nothing behind there. Okay. Let's go on up. So do we have like a wandering horde coming through or is that just a... I'm going to say that's probably what's happening here. How the hell did they hear that? Get out of my face. Need some freaking breath meds, man. Jeez, it's bad breath. <laughs> 